on to the latest from the Russia-Ukraine war. A ship carrying 13,000 tons of corn from Ukraine entered the northern Italian port of Ravenna. On Friday, the ship had a stopover in Turkey. Over the past two weeks, a total of 14 ships have departed from the war-torn country. This after the deal was signed with Russia to allow a resumption of grain exports from Ukraine's Black Sea ports. The grain shipments were stalled for five months due to the war. The agreement was brokered by the United Nations along with Turkey. Oggi è il giorno molto importante per noi perché oggi è arrivato al porto di Ravenna prima nave con il grano d'Ucraina, il primo nave prima da, della, dall'inizio della guerra ingiustificata della Russia contro l'Ucraina. Il giorno simbolico è importante perché è il segnale è molto importante non per il mercato solo locale ma anche per il mercato globale. In yet another development, the U.S. Defense Department has said that American-supplied weapons were not used to attack a Russian airbase in Crimea. It further added that it did not know the cause of the devastating explosions at the site. Ukrainian forces are believed to be behind the multiple explosions at the Saki base in Russian-occupied Crimea on Tuesday. The explosions destroyed around eight aircraft as well as ammunition stockpiles. It remains unclear exactly what caused the explosions at the base, as no one has officially claimed responsibility. This as satellite images have emerged showing heavy damage and destroyed aircraft at the Russian military airfield in Crimea. The photos released by independent firm Maxar Technologies also included infrared images showing the extent of fire damage. Meanwhile, at least two people were killed in Ukraine's Kramatorsk in Russian shelling. It is the last major city under Ukrainian control in the eastern Donetsk region in particular. In the southeast, as per a local official, Russian shelling on Zaporizhia has killed one woman and wounded two others. Residents have also expressed their concerns over shelling near Ukraine's Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Дело в том, что мы знаем результат радиации. То есть последствия, которые будут после того, ну не дай бог, ежедневно вот эти обстрелы. Кому оно надо? Просто издеваются над as the war drags on with no end in sight, the Czech Republic, which holds the rotating EU presidency, has said that a blanket ban on visas for all Russian travelers could be the bloc's next big sanction on Moscow. The Czech foreign minister has said that he will propose the idea at an informal meeting of EU foreign ministers in Prague at the end of August. Listen in. Буде гарантія, що російські вбивці, посібники державного терору не будуть користуватися Шенгеном. По-друге, не можна руйнувати саму ідею Європи, наші спільні європейські цінності. Тобто не можна перетворювати Європу на супермаркет, в якому неважливо, хто заходить. І головне, щоб людина просто розплатилася за ці товари. Тому візові обмеження для громадян Росії справедливі. Всі захисники європейських цінностей мають на них наполягати. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.